Peter Brower here with your September real estate update. Well, people ask me what's going to be happening this fall. Well, let's look at the last couple of falls and see if they can help predict the future. So I'm going to look at four leading indicators that I check all the time to see how the market is doing. Let's start with months worth of inventory. If you look at the graph that I'm sharing with you, you can actually see that month of inventory has gone up a little bit. But let's look at the last two years, at September, October, November, and literally you can see that those numbers stayed very steady last year with a slight rise the year before. That basically tells me that's a pretty balanced situation, and that tells me that nobody's gonna get a clear advantage based on the last two years, and that's really helpful for us. Let's look at another one here. Days on the market. Now that's interesting because we've seen days on the market literally steadily go up. And when we look at the last two years, we actually see that happening a little bit in, in the fall, but not a whole lot. We're seeing minor changes. So all that really tells me is again, we have a balanced marketplace. So I'm gonna look at two more indicators. One, let's look at closed price. This is a really interesting one because we've actually seen the prices go down a little bit as the summer's gone on because people have gone to the sidelines, they've vacationed, but guess what? They're all coming back now. And let's look at the last two years. Well, you've actually seen the prices go up a little bit in September and October in both of the last two years. And the reality is this, there's fewer, fewer sellers, excuse me, and the buyers are back in the market and they are literally for the next 10 weeks, they're gonna be shopping and hoping to be in their new home before Christmas. So it's a great opportunity both for sellers and buyers to have a balanced marketplace, but at the same time, prices should shift up slightly over the next couple of months. And then total sales, let's take a look at that. Look at the last two years worth of graphs, almost flat. And you can basically see September and October are two months where there are lots of opportunities to sell. Now you do see them go off a cliff in late November and December, and that's when people buy the fewest homes, and that is in December. Bottom line is, everything that I'm seeing so far for this year, being a very normal real estate year, is that we're gonna have a good, strong, robust, and balanced marketplace. If you have any questions, reach out to me, love to help you. Whether you're buying or selling, having this kind of expertise on your side is gonna create the advantage that you're looking for to create the best outcome for your dreams. Talk to you again soon.